Are you looking for a gun vise to help you with cleaning and basic maintenance of a firearm? Let me show you the vise I have on the bench right now. I want to thank Tipton for sending in their Ultra Gun Vice for review and evaluation. You've already seen this in action with my bore scope video, but now let's get this on the bench and show you what this thing's all about. Now, as you can see here, there's a few things. Now, we have some trays here, which are real nice because they can just flip right off and you can remove them if you don't want them. And then right here is for your AR-15s. Uh, so you can put the receiver on here. Um, I'm going to pull that one off which then just basically leaves you with the clamps. Now I have a 3030 Winchester here and it is in fact unloaded and safe to be handled. So as you can see here, we can put this into the vise and then clamp down. And you can see these jaws are actually going around the stock. And these jaws do articulate and they have a really nice rubber pad to them so they don't mar the surface. Now you can see here, we can clamp the barrel as well and this will keep this really sturdy inside the vise. Now the gun is sloped but we can solve that. We turn this knob right here and we can raise this tower and clamp this back down and now we can level the rifle which is really good for when you're mounting scopes. Because there's enough clearance here I can actually work the action of this rifle. So that way I can do work on a gun. Now, this is not necessarily a gunsmith gun vise. Uh, it does have its limitations and you're not gonna do high torque functions on this. You're still gonna wanna have your vise to do those things. But for regular maintenance and minor things on guns, this is all you really need. Now I mounted an AR up into the vise here, and as you can see, it can hold it nice and sturdy. I mean, with this being up on the front sight pegs here, this thing is just not moving. But let's show you the AR attachment, because it's a little more than what you think it is. Now you can see I pulled, out, pulled the AR out, and I've slid these all the way out. And I'm gonna put my AR attachment back on. And I'm going to pull my upper off of my AR. And as you can see, this will mount right in like a mag. And then if you flip this over, you have a hammer stop. Because in an AR, you don't want to have your hammer come home and hit the receiver. So what you can actually do with this is because of that hammer stop, you can test fire your hammer. So if you want to test fire and see what the trigger pull is like, you can actually do this because usually we put our thumb on and squeeze the trigger and then slowly let our hammer back. But with this, I can let that fly right up against that rubber. And it is in fact rubber, it's not plastic. So it's a real nice soft rubber to keep the hammer from being damaged or the hammer hitting the frame and damaging the frame. Now, as you can see here, it's not the greatest fit because it does kind of flop around, but we still have this tower back here that we can raise up and then we can really start clamping the back side of this rifle down if we want to. Now, we'll pull this off and this does articulate, so you can move your lower round to get to the angle that you want. Now, the one thing that's really cool about this AR-15 block is on the front, there is a bolt jig. So you can just put your bolt in here so that way you can remove your pin and start disassembly of a bolt. Now, of course you can do this by hand, but it's also nice to have something else just to hold this. So that way you don't need a separate bench block to work on. Now that's the basic operations of the vise. The one thing I didn't show you yet is these rubber feet is that you can spin them so that way you can level your vise for whatever surface that you're using it on. Now I've been looking for a vise for a long time and I've kept my eye on this. I've kept my eye on this one and the one that's probably a little bit less expensive than this one, but 
let me show you a problem with this, and it has to do with these towers. Now, I've showed you that you can put these towers in, and I'm gonna really crank this thing up. And you can see it holds in place. And I'm putting a moderate amount of force in here, not an extreme amount. And this is why I say it's not really a gunsmithing vice, because if I put enough force on this, I can overcome that friction. So the one thing that they should have done here is, rather than doing friction, there should have been grooves right here on the surface, and then grooves right on this friction device, and that would give you a positive lock of this tower. That's a pretty big oversight in, in my book. Um, I wish they would have had a better way of keeping this tower up. Now, I haven't overcome that with just regular you know, cleaning, but you know, I've got to test everything, and that was one thing that just concerned me. Is it completely out of the range of, you know, go, don't go buy this product? No, I think this is a good product, and I definitely recommend it. Um, the other concern I have, and it's not really concerned, is that on the AR-15 device here, I wish they had more blocks. Um, now, I know that on the other, uh, the other vise that Tipton has, you can get a 1911 block and you can remove the AR-15 one and mount the 1911 there. I would like to see other, um, other blocks because working on pistols can be a little tough. So I'm gonna pause the camera really quick and I'm gonna show you a pistol setup of how you would work with a pistol on this vise. Working in guns, we're used to things like this where we put this up the mag well and it acts like a, almost like a magazine and then we clamp onto this with our vise. And that's where I really wish there were more of these attachments for this vise just for working on pistols. But let me show you how you would mount a pistol onto this vise. And what I would do here, I'm gonna slide these kind of together. I'm gonna take my pistol and I'm going to mount it in the vise. Now I could hold it just like this, but to really get some good clamping on here, I'm gonna push these together, loosen this up. And you can see, I can raise this and then clamp my pistol this way. And as you can see, it's held in place really well. Now you can see why I would really like this because I have these clamps kind of everywhere and sure, I can clean the barrel. I got access to the barrel, but it'd just be nice if I had access to the whole gun instead of having to deal with these clamps. Now that you've seen this vice in action, let's hear in the comments down below about what you think. For me, I think it's a fairly well thought out product. It's great for the average gun owner. It's not a gunsmith vice, and it's also not a shooting vice. Sure, it has a problem with the friction device on keeping these towers up, but again, you shouldn't be putting that much load on it if you're using this for cleaning and basic maintenance. I'd give this product a solid four out of five. Thank you for watching. Hope you're staying safe out there and I look forward to seeing you again soon.